Hello, it is Kitty Blue. This is week six of my weekly videos that I um, have been doing for 2023. Guess Zira didn't like um, that I'm doing a weekly video, not a box opening video. <laughs> Anyways, so for week six, <clears throat> I'm going to do another BJD Addicts prompt, prompt number 51. Since um, I just had a convention yesterday, so I have a lot of stuff going on. This will be an easy and relatively quick one. So uh, for BJD Addicts prompt number 51, the question was, do you prefer realistic dolls or the anime exaggerated looking dolls and why? Hmm. Kind of trick question because... I think there's like more out there than just realistic versus anime and exaggerated. There is a wide range of dolls out there. I mean, <clears throat> by realistic, I'm assuming maybe people mean like Eiffel House and, and um, dolls of that nature that look very realistic, like they could be people versus um, other styles of BJDs that might have bigger heads than their bodies, might not be proportioned exactly correct. I'm not exactly sure ex what people would term as realistic. Um, <clears throat> I like pretty much any doll that catches my attention that I think is cute. I don't really like go, oh, that's anime. I don't want that because um, obviously... I have a lot of smart dolls and I have some Dolphy Dream dreams, so I definitely like the anime as well. Um, I prefer, and I'm just going to answer this question for myself, I prefer fantasy dolls. Um, not all of them are realistic, you would say, because, I mean, we don't have centaurs running around, we don't have um, anthro-style um, humanoids running around or anything like that. So I guess technically those wouldn't be considered realistic. I'm not sure. Um, obviously I do have some dolls that are realistic, like my, uh, my Trinity and my Lucian dolls are pretty, I shouldn't, I, I almost said normal, but I don't want to say normal, but they're, they're very humanoid, you know, looking dolls. Um, <clears throat> they don't have anything really fantasy about them. Well, except for my Lucian, she's got elf ears, but yeah, I've always preferred fantasy style dolls. Um, going back to last week's prompt of like my dream dolls and stuff like that. So when I got into BJDs, I wanted to create my original characters. And um, those dolls are obviously fantasy style dolls and fantasy colors. Um, so not very realistic. Um, they're fantasy. So... I mean, that is why I started collecting them. And um, I, you know, I'm a big comic book fan. I'm a big sci-fi fan. So I lean more towards like fantasy style dolls than other things. Um, I love anthro dolls just because I, I just think they're cool. I mean, I don't know. Who wouldn't want to be an animal kind of humanoid creature? I, th I think it would be kind of neat. So, you know, hey, who's to say that isn't very realistic? But, <clears throat> yeah, I guess, I mean, my answer to that question is neither or both. I mean, I can answer that both ways because I have such a wide range of dolls that I collect. Um, but, yeah, my answer to the question is I prefer fantasy dolls. So... That is it for BJD Addicts Prompt 51. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button so you can get notification of upcoming content. Like the video, place any comments below. Um, you know, let us know, let me know, let, let us, let me know, like, um, what, what do you prefer? Maybe you want to do this, these BJD Addict prompts as well. Um, I will put that link in the description like I did the last one, so that maybe, you know, you could start doing them too, because they are really a lot of fun. 
So that is it for this week. Um, not sure what next week will be. I have a couple of ideas that are going to be fun and different. Um, it's not going to be another BJD Attic prompt, even though there are several more that um, I need to catch up on. So until then, stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.